Yo, welcome back to the channel, folks. I am Brian Lee Durfee, author of Forgetting Moon and The Blackest Heart, both books published by Simon & Schuster's Saga Press. Today I'm going to be reviewing John Grisham, The Whistler. That's right, The Whistler by John Grisham. Book number one in his... Lacey Stoltz uh, series. There's only two books in the Lacey. John Grisham normally writes standalone novels. Once in a great while, he will write a sequel to um, one of the standalone novels. Now, this standalone novel came out in probably, let me see. Let, we'll, we'll look it up. We'll see. The publication date's going to be right here. And it came out in 2016. Well, his most recent book, um, which is over here in my collection of John Grisham. Let's go over to the John Grisham collection and look at the John Grisham collection right there. I've got every John Grisham book right there. And his most recent book is right here, The Judge's List. And that is book two in his Lacey Stoltz series. Now, what does Lacey Stoltz do? Well, she's a... Uh... What does she do? She's an investigator, that's right, she's an investigator for the Florida Board of Judicial Conduct. Now, what does the Florida Board of Judicial Conduct do? Well, they uh, make sure the judges and stuff don't, you know, do, uh, you know, shady shit. That's basically it. Um, before we get into all that, though, let's review the cover. You know I love covers. Sometimes I forget to review the covers of the big, huge thrillers, because they're kind of plain. And here we got a kind of plain big huge thriller cover it's uh, got the john grisham big bell letters and then the whistler and then we've got some boats uh, a lot of this does take place a lot of the secret rendezvous secret meetings behind the scenes backdoor meetings happen out in these boats on the docks thus there the, that's where the cover you know florida board of judicial conduct lacy Stoles, Scholes, Stoles, I knew I had it right. She is our main protagonist. She is single. She wants kids. She wonders if maybe pursuing a career as hard as she has, uh, wasting her 20s just going through the law school and just focusing on herself. And uh, she wants kids and a family now, but now she's 36 and things are getting a little harder to do. I mean, guys ain't paying attention to her like they used to. And her partner, Hugo, is this black guy who's married to this woman, and they've they got the perfect marriage, the perfect little kids. And she just wants that for her life. She And uh, Hugo um, is married to Verna, and uh, Verna is uh, what happens is. Let's get into what happens. So Greg Myers, he has a case, um, and he wants Lacey and Hugo to... Um, Investigate this judge who has uh, stolen more money out of the court systems than all the judges in the world and universe combined, or so he says. And they're like, well, okay, but you know, you, know you, you would be better to just file a complaint than try to have us investigate this on the down low. Just file a complaint and then uh, we'll investigate it on the up and up. And he's like, no, this cannot be investigated on the up and up because very... Evil, bad, horrible people are involved, and um, we're all, all going to die. Now that you know about it, you're going to die. Too. So everybody's going to die. So we might as well just do this on the down low in hopes that we don't die. And uh, so now Lacey's like, okay, and then Hugo's like, okay, so they're going to do it. And then Hugo sort of tells his wife, Verna, that, you know, the, the next case that me and Lacey are going to go investigate uh, it's probably... probably probably going to get us killed there. Uh, and she's just like freaked. So now he's freaked his wife out. And then we've got um, a whole bunch of other shit going on because they do run into some baddies. They some very baddies as they investigate this judge. It goes deep and deep and deeper and deeper and more evil and evil and people, you know, they, hey, the dude was right. Greg Myers was correct when he pulled him onto the boat to because that's the only place that they can talk in secret, you see, is the boats. They have to be on the boat. 
And when he pulled him out of the boat, he said, hey, uh, yeah, we're probably going to die. But, you know, hey, let's do it anyway. Let's investigate. So anyway, all things go to hell. Half, you know, everything goes sideways and ass over teapot and all that stuff. Great twists and turns. You typical John Grisham legal thriller. I just, you know, I loved all of it. I loved the interplay between Lacey and her partner, Hugo. I liked their conversations that they had back and forth at every moment at every step of the way it was just done perfectly and the uh wrap up and tie up although a little um predictable and comfortable it doesn't matter a lot of john grisham is like that but we love john grisham because he just takes us on a great thriller ride and same with the whistler not my favorite john grisham but actually i don't even know if it would be in my top half of favorites so, so it's probably in the middle it's like a middle grade john grisham book i'll give it a good solid enthusiastic 7.5 out of 10 great great addition and i will be reading book number two soon 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 just came out so we'll get to it here soon